in this video, we're going to look at how you can have a task database in Notion and whenever you react to a message with a specific emoji like this, that message gets added automatically to your Notion database. And to achieve this, we will be using the Slack and the Notion API through Make. Mainly focusing on two scenarios in Make. One, to retrieve messages on a channel or on multiple channels, and the other one to retrieve reactions and then automate the creation of tasks in Notion. So let's get into it. And there are two scenarios here in Make that I already set up by myself before this video um, because I had to go through some trial and error and many mistakes before achieving the ultimate workflow that actually works. So the first automation is to track messages sent to a specific channel. For this example, I'm using only one channel in Slack that is called automation here to track messages and store those messages in a data store. That is a make table in the backend to store data. And we need this because we need to make sure that we see all the messages sent to the channel that we want to track. And then we can reference the timestamp and the user ID of that reaction to match the values and then add the task to Notion. This first scenario has the new event make module here. That's the trigger. And that's a webhook, meaning it is instant. Whenever there is a new message in the automation channel, for this example, this webhook is going to fire and send a response. So for this, I created my Slack connection make, created the webhook. It's done by make for you through a very easy UI. So you can just follow the flow and then select messages as the object to trigger this webhook. So whenever there is a new message here, if we run it, this will fire. That's the response that we get. And you can see all the data that we get here. And the action of this scenario is to add data to a data store. As I said, that's a make table, essentially. So the data store module is here. You can search by typing data store. And now I didn't find it because it's already here in my module selection options. And in data store, the module that we're using is add slash replace a record. In this case, we only care about adding records, not replacing them. So we have a data structure set up that I created here. And you can see how it is set up here. These are the fields that I created for that data structure. So you can think of this as a table and each field is a column. So I have the key, that's the primary key. In our case, that's going to be the message ID that we map from Slack. Then we have the message timestamp, that is a text field sent by, that's the user ID, another text field, and the message content. That's a text field again, where we map the message content from the Slack module to ensure that we can query that content in the other scenario that we have to add the task to motion. So the key is mapped with the client message ID. That's this field. We don't need to overwrite an existing record. This automation will only work when there is a new message sent. Then we have the message timestamp. That is the event timestamp mapped, sent by, that is user here, that's user ID, and the message content that is text. So now we just added a new record to the data store. With those fields populated. So the second step is to add a second scenario that will send tasks to Notion. And in this scenario, we have a trigger that is another webhook. This time, that's a different webhook. So I still use the new event module, but the object that we track with this webhook are reactions, emoji reactions to messages. So whenever there is an emoji reaction, this automation or webhook triggers. Then we have a filter here that I set up that is reaction text operator equal to case insensitive, just to make sure. And then the text of the reaction that we want to use. And that's because we don't want to trigger this whole workflow whenever there is any reaction to a message. Although the webhook gets all the reactions, we only want it to continue whenever the reaction is a specific one, the black large square that looks like this. And when that happens, then we want to create a new task so that people can know exactly what that emoji stands for. And this is not a very popular emoji to use um, to react to Slack messages. 
And that's why it's a good fit for this workflow. So if that filter is met, then we use the data store again. This time the module is search records. And you can see here that we search on the same data structure that we have, where the message timestamp text operators equal to, and we got the items timestamp from the webhook. That is the item timestamp here, because that's the timestamp of the original message that was reacted to. And an additional filter or control is sent by text operators equal to, and then the item user, that is the original person who sent the message that was reacted to. So when these conditions are met, then we create a database item in Notion. So that's a Notion module, create database item. I inputted the database ID in here. That is the string of values between the two forward slash commands on the URL of the database. Or you can also search directly here with your database name and make will retrieve it for you. As long as you have the make bot have access to that database from the connections menu. And then you have the fields. These are the properties in Notion name and we map the message content that we get from the data store. So our Notion database structure is very simple right now. And that's just because this is an example and that's how the logic works. And in here, it might be good to also add a new filter that says where key exists so that in case there is nothing found on the data store, then the automation will stop or the scenario will stop. Otherwise, this module will give an error message. Okay, so this is active here. And let's say I'm going to go back to Slack and then we react to this message with a black emoji. And let's go to our Notion database. And we got the message right here. And that is how the automation works and everything that is to it. We need to use the Slack API and not just the workflow builder in Slack because there are limitations there and we can't really send data to Notion directly using the Slack native features. If you have any questions, you can drop them down below. Thanks for watching for now and see you soon.